It's time for Abba Silence Ministries, a kingdom ministry. Hi there. My name is Minister Jody, and I have something I would like to share with you. It's not unusual to find yourself wanting to know what it is that others are saying about you. You know, even Jesus himself asked that question to his disciples as found at Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 20. Let's read that. Is Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 through 20, and this is what it says. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So what are people saying about you? Who do people think that you are? Does it matter? Well, let's find out. Listen to a message that I shared earlier in the year from Daniel chapter five. People are talking about you. What are they saying about you? Stay tuned for a special message from Abba Silence Ministries and Minister Jody. Hey, Christian man and woman of the Most High God, servants of the Most High God, people are talking about you. People have a lot to say about you that you might not be aware of. Um, What are they saying about you? Do you know? Does it matter? I am sitting here. Um, It was not my intent to consider Daniel. Um, Actually, well, I was looking at Daniel for one reason, and I got sent back to looking at other stuff. But I came across these verses in Daniel chapter 5. Belshazzar, Belshazzar, the grandson of King Nebuchadnezzar, who um, was now ruling and who was being real disrespectful, happened to see some writings on the wall. He happened to see the finger of a man writing on the wall. And let me tell you, when I was reading that, the first thing I thought about was social media. See, we type and we write stuff and we post stuff. And when we post, they were posting on our wall. That's what we call it. We call it our wall. And we can post something and we get a hashtag and it will show up on somebody else's wall. Or we could tag a person and it will show up what we wrote would show up on somebody else's wall. So here, Belteshazzar in chapter 5 of Daniel, the book of Daniel, he is having this great feast and he's been real disrespectful because he took the articles, um, the vessels that were consecrated to our Heavenly Father, um, consecrated to the temple of the Most High God. And you know, this stuff had been captured by Babylon. And so he took these items and he was drinking out of them, silver and gold items. And he was uh, sharing these drinks, you know, with his um, servants and his wives and, well not servants, but like the the um, other significant leaders or whatever who was sitting at his table. And he happens to look up and he see writing on the wall. So he calls in a bunch of people, you know, that that's supposed to, anyway, he calls in a bunch of people to tell him what this stuff means and nobody was able to tell him. And so his wife, the queen now comes in and she says to him, you know, don't, don't trouble yourself. Don't be worried. There is somebody here that can answer for you what that writing is that you saw on the wall. And so they sent for Daniel. And so um, when Daniel comes in, this is... 
Daniel chapter 5 is verses 13 through 16. I'm about to read this to you because it stood out to me and it stood out to me in such a way that I kind of felt led to post this and to share this to all my brothers and sisters in Christ, especially those who are leaders and those who like to post and those who like to write back. What is being said about you for real, for real? For real, for real. Like, what is being said about you? So here. It says, then Daniel was brought in before the king. And you know, our gifts will make room for us, right? So when we're being brought before the king, the king always, because he summons us, he already knows about us again, what is being said about you. So here, Daniel was brought in before the king. The king spoke and said to Daniel, are you that Daniel who was one of the captives from Judah. So number one, he knew that um, he was a captive. He knew that he was not a Babylonian, but that he was one of the Jews that was brought in when his father uh, conquered Judah and, or conquered Jerusalem and, and kidnapped a bunch of people. And, and so he knew this stuff. So he said, are you that Daniel? Um, who is one of the captives from Judah, whom my father, the king brought from Judah? Are, are, is that you? That's you? He says, I have heard of you. What did you hear? What did you hear? He says, I have heard of you that the spirit of God is in you. Oh, I have heard of you that the spirit of God is in you and that light and understanding and Excellent wisdom are found in you. What is people saying about you, man and woman of God? What are people saying? What are people hearing about you? What are they whispering among themselves and speaking among themselves about you? He says, this is verse 15. It says, now the wise men and astrologers have been brought before, brought in before me that they could read this writing on wall. Now he's starting to talk about other people. Okay. He says, now the wise men, the astrologers, have been brought in before me that they should read the writing and make known to me its interpretation. But they could not give the interpretation of the thing. Like, they, they, they have these titles. They're wise men. They're astrologers. They've been brought because they have these titles. This is their job. You know, this is what they are walking in and presenting themselves as. But yet, they couldn't even answer this for me. This, this is what he says. He says, but they could not give the interpretation of the thing. Verse 16, this is Daniel chapter 5. It says, and I have heard of you. Now, when he brought these wise men and astrologers in to give him this understanding, um, as a matter of fact, let, let's make this clear who he brought in. He brought in the chief of the magicians, the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and soothsayers. He brought in a whole bunch of people to try to give him an answer and couldn't nobody give him an answer. And so now he has heard of you, Daniel. Are you that Daniel? You, you? Because I've heard of you. He says that you can give interpretations and explain plain enigmas now if you can read the writing and make known to me its interpretation you should be clothed with purple and have a chain of gold around your neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom now trust me daniel didn't care about this stuff but your gifts will make room before you i'm not going to keep reading because um you guys need to go read this for yourself it's daniel chapter five um but many many tickle a barison he says the meaning of that, many, 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 means God has numbered your kingdom and finished it. It was said twice, many, many, take your parts and twice, solidly confirms a matter. Many, God has numbered your kingdom and finished it. Tickle, you have been weighed in the balances and found more. Um, maybe your inspection has happened. You have been inspected. You have been looked at. And, and this is what has been decided. Perez, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and Persians. And that is where... The book of Ezra comes in because it was Cyrus um, who was running Mede and Persia, Medo Persia at the time. And he was the one that overthrew Babylon. And so, like, these books are not necessarily in order, but 
Daniel, what happened in Daniel happened first, and then Ezra. So, but yeah, let me let me end this. Let me end this. Bang, bang this. Um, people are talking about you. People are talking about me. <laughs> They're talking about me. And that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. People can say whatever they want to say about you. But the question is, when they talk about you, what are they saying about you? Is it true or is it being said of you that the spirit of the living God is in you? Is that what they're saying? Or is that what you want them to say? Hmm? 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 Is that what they're saying for real, for real? Because it has been found to be true? Or is that what you want them to say by the titles that we bear and, and the the um the designations that we put upon ourselves, like master and doctorate and all this other stuff? Uh, you know, these degrees that we put upon ourselves, you know. Is it true? Are you that Daniel, the one who is captive, one of the captives from Judah? <laughs> All right, y'all. You have just heard a special message from Minister Jody of Abba Silence Ministries, a kingdom ministry 